Another feature in JavaScript that gets used relatively often is the ability to set timers. There's four main functions set timeout, clear timeout, set interval, and clear interval. The timeouts work together, the intervals work together. And basically it's set a time and say that this is the minimum number of milliseconds to wait and then as soon as you're able to please execute this function. So I've created a very basic function here called log. It's accepting uh, one parameter. We're going to just delete that for the moment. And all it does is console log out message. So if I was to run this function, there we go, I get message showing up. Not very exciting. Now, here's where set timeout comes in. With set timeout, I'm going to pass in the name of the function that I want to run. So I'm going to say call the function log after, and then I provide the number of milliseconds. So 1000 means one second. So it's a thousand milliseconds. Run this again. Pause, and then you see the message does appear after that amount of time. Okay, now there is another set of parameters that you can pass in here. The first one has to be the function to call. The second one has to be the timeout. After that, there's a whole bunch of optional parameters. These additional parameters will all be values that are passed to the function specified here. So if I was to say write the word hello, that would be sent to this function. And then I'll put that variable back that I had deleted. And then I can write that out here. Okay, run it. One second delay, and then it writes out message hello. If I was to make this, say, 2000, run it. One, two, there we go. So, two second delay, one second delay, whatever you want, whatever number of milliseconds. This is the minimum amount of time that it will wait, and then it tells the JavaScript engine, hey, okay, it's ready whenever you are able, whenever you're done with whatever you're working with on the current stack, go ahead and fire this off. Set timeout sometimes needs to be cancelled. Set interval sometimes needs to be cancelled. Now the difference between set timeout and set interval is that set timeout runs once, set interval runs again and again and again every so often. So if I said 2000, if I was doing a <clears throat> set interval calling log every half second and I was writing something else every 500 milliseconds or half a second it would fire the function log and pass this message in so again and again and again now you can see how that would be a little bit annoying if you couldn't stop that without killing the process so, to stop it, that's where clear timeout and clear interval come in. We can take a variable, and this becomes the reference. So, Timmy and Tommy will say that those are our intervals. This is a reference to the object we get back from set timeout. This is a reference to the object that we get back from set interval. It's a timer object. And if you want to call the clear, it needs this reference to be passed in. So if I go clear timeout and I pass in Timmy and I go clear interval and I pass in Tommy, when I run this, Nothing happens, because this is running a fraction of a second after this line of code, so this is destroying that timeout, telling it never to run long before the two seconds is up. And then the same thing here, Tommy is being told never to run long before the half second interval is up. So that's what you can do with the value that's passed back from set timeout or set interval. And we've got one parameter being passed in here, but you can do as many as you want. 
numbers, booleans, whatever you want, you can pass in. Set interval. Let's take this, and I'm going to put it inside of here. So it's going to run once. This line of code, set interval log after a half second, pass in the message. The message will come up here. We'll write a message message, or I'll change this to goodbye. After it's written it out once, then it's going to kill this. So this, what we've effectively done is we've turned this into a set timeout. It's only going to run the one time. Half second, message goodbye, and then we're done. We're back to the command prompt. So that is set timeout, clear timeout, set interval, and clear interval. Your function, the amount of milliseconds to wait, and then everything else are the parameters that are being passed into the function that you're calling here.